Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're listening to this, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 182 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Brand new month, so we are hopping into a new area of the life framework. We're going to talk about relationship goals this month. This is our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge, and every month we talk about a different area of the life framework. January, we spent looking at different goal frameworks, different ways of picking, choosing, analyzing, working toward and achieving our goals. And we created our own seven step process and framework, which we will go through step by step by step for each of the seven process, step, process steps at the end of this month with respect to our most important relationship goal. I just started that last month. Okay, why are we not doing our most important financial goal, our most important physical goal, our most important emotional and spiritual? And I'm like, okay, I just randomly picked a goal each month and I'm like, why wouldn't I be going for and demonstrating my most important one? So last month, I just finished up yesterday, my most important financial goal. What is that? So we'll do the same thing at the end of this month for our most important relationship goal. But before we can do that, the first thing we have to do is decide and think about what does a healthy relationship, what does well-being in our relationships look like for us? Now, most of us have been involved in some good relationships and some bad relationships, depending on how old we are, and you might only be young, you've been involved in relationships that were for you and relationships that were not for you. They were either for the other person or they were just wrong for you. And we, we get involved in relationships sometimes and we stay too long. We, we try to drag out friendships. We try to drag out relationships because we don't really know and understand that people come in and out of our life for a reason to teach us and show us something. Sometimes it's something about ourselves. Sometimes it's something about them that's showing us that they're not right for us. But they don't usually stay for our entire lifetime. The people that are into our entire life and stay with us for our entire lifetime are rare, right? I think some people have more of those relationships than others. But the vast majority of people that we interact with throughout our lifetime, because we all interact with literally millions of other people come in and out of our life. You know, think of all the strangers you see when you go to the store or to the post office or uh, as, you're, as you're working and going about your daily activities and job. We interact with lots and lots of human beings and we're not in a relationship with all of them. So our action item today, and there's a write-up of course in Guide 17 on the Get Up and Go private Facebook group page you just you know answer the three security questions and you're in and you can see all of last year's challenge the BU 365 day challenge each of those days videos as well as uh, the previous two years challenges every other month in 2020 crazy pandemic year and 2021 I did a 30 plus day challenge to help us help me and other people get up and go and keep moving toward the craziest most uncertain times in my lifetime and probably most of the people on the planet's lifetime as well, right? I never thought we would experience a simultaneous event that impacted almost every human being on the planet, right? And, and it's still continuing to impact us today. I think the ramifications of the global pandemic and, and COVID-19 are going to be with us for probably decades before we understand and know, you know, well, yeah, this was caused by that. You know, when you shut down your world, for geez, almost a year plus, and it impacts everything. Entire industries were destroyed, entire industries were created. Uh, <clears throat> you know, how many of us wore face masks all the time before the pandemic? I know I certainly never did. All right, so what are we doing today? What, we're thinking about relationship goals. We're gonna start switching from financial to relationships and thinking about what do we want our relationships to be like? What is a healthy relationship feel like, look like to me, and we're going to define that for ourselves. And then, of course, once we know what relationship well-being and relationship health looks like for us, we can start to set goals in that area. So that's our assignment today. We're going to keep it easy over this holiday weekend. If I can help you in any way, ask if you've got any questions about this, hit me up. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Have fun with this. Relationships impact everything in our lives, right? So we want to pay special attention to this. All right. Have a great day, and I'll of course be with you tomorrow.